the majority of the look at the ones the, the ones that are are really like popular they're not yeah. then they're they're, they're they're middle class kids that their kid their, their kid they, they come from homes either they had a single mother who had a good job or they had a, a father in their life and um now no, no, the go, 90%, go, go ahead one 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 artist i do have respect for and i actually had the chance to talk to him like backstage at one of his house had a backstage pass was Nas. this was like years ago he he uh he did a show at um uh gosh i forget the name of the place but it was in um it was in um it was in ac and you know he, he he's a well-rounded fellow man he you know and he talked you know he talked about coming coming from a rough area and, and he said he would never go back there's one place he would never go back he said you know you know i'll go back you know kick it with the homies for a while he was like but you never never ever catch me you know just hanging just hanging out and put myself in a situation you know to be murdered or you know anything crazy like that but you know i got yeah. i got mad respect for him you know what I'm well here's the thing you know? man um when you when you when you like a dude like nas like his dad i forgot is it ola Dury? what was his dad's name his yeah, dad Ola Dar. His dad's, yeah yeah his dad so his dad Nas come from a musical background his dad was a successful musician you know what i'm saying um I don't know how he ended up living in Queensbridge projects. I don't know how that is. Maybe his mom, but um, he, he he still had that foundation. You feel what I'm saying? He still had that yeah, foundation. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good parents. Yeah, good. His dad was, a, um, yeah. But uh, yeah. So it's like, it's like most most rappers, you know, come from that man. That's why it's it's. It's crazy that they be getting murked like that because it's like, damn, yo. It just goes to show you, like, the black race, like, the black experience, man. No matter where you come from, that shit is um, it's dangerous, man. Um, so Post Malone, this is, this is what's going on now. So the Beehive is mad at Swifties. Um, because Post Malone, he did a song with Beyonce. He did a song with Taylor Swift. And after he did the song with Taylor Swift, he 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 posted this. You know, Post Malone, he's a very nice guy, man. Extremely nice dude, man. Um, very thoughtful guy, very mature guy. Um, and he says, he said, it's once in a lifetime that someone like Taylor Swift comes into this world. I'm floored by your heart and your mind. And I'm beyond honored to have you been asked to help you with your journey. I love you so much. Thank you, Tay. So since he wrote that after that, people are like, well, he, he did his song with Beyonce. He didn't do nothing like that. Niggas are crazy now. Niggas are literally complaining that he didn't write a heartfelt note to Beyonce after they did their song. That's how crazy. <laughs> Goofies. Goofies. Some folks are like children. Man. Beyonce treated him like shit. Who knows? Nah, it don't matter. You don't have to do everything. Don't Everybody don't get everything. It's like Caitlin Clark. Well, how come this random black girl didn't get what? How come this random black girl didn't yeah. get uh, a shoe? It, 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 it doesn't matter. Like, listen, listen, man. Listen, man. Look. DVK. I got this shirt that says RIP DVK. If somebody else from Ock Nation passed away, I've been on here for seven years. If somebody else from Ock Nation, one of the mods that's probably passed away before. I didn't do a shirt for them. Everybody don't get everything. Everybody well, that's definitely true. Yeah. Black people, though, we demand 
everything that any white person has. If a white person gets something, we are demanding that one of us gets it. Yep. <laughs> like children. Exactly like children. They're like children that look at the glasses to make sure the milk is even. <laughs> you know what I mean? That one <laughs> sister or brother didn't get more than the other. Yep. How come he got two scoops of ice cream? I didn't get, yeah. I only got one. Yeah. Yep. And it's like and it's like we 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 don't even like seeing white people happy. Like if we like if a white person is happy now, that's an affront to us. We're offended by that. Um look at this. Look at this. So so the beehive and the Swifties are beefing now. Could you you know how ugly that's gonna get? You know how, how mean spirited and evil and jealous and hateful the beehive is. They're a bunch of black chicks that's worshiping this Creole chick and a bunch of LGBT black dudes. Yep. Everyone who hasn't subscribed, make Shout sure you right. subscribe, man. Everyone who hasn't subscribed, subscribe. And Taylor Swift and the Swifties are a bunch of white girls from middle America that their vibe is not, not ready for that shit. That's for sure. Yeah, they're <laughs> in a, they like that. They're 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 hopeful. They're 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 winning. They're happy. They, you know, she's dating the stud, fucking dreamy ass football player and shit. Her, her record, everything's nice. Her 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 music ain't about. I need a gangster. I need a hot boy. And all that say bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's it's about love. Even though she be dissing her ex boyfriends, it's still not like she want to have her brother come smoke them or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? She will flat their ties and no shit <laughs> like that. She just talking. You know what I'm saying? Shit about the um, ex boyfriend and shit, but. They're not, if one person, see, here's what's going to happen. Somebody going to create a troll account like Swifties, Swifty fan, and say some racist shit, and then that's going to give the beehive the, 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 the go-ahead to just take the gloves off. See, they stand racist things, man. And then, you know what I'm saying? And then it's just going to be done. You know, it's gonna be over. yeah. It's gonna be yeah. It's, it's gonna it's gonna get. They're not they're not ready for uh, black women and a bunch of gay black men. <laughs> yeah, the, the nasty sure. yeah, like like here's the, two here's different the time zones, man. Like it's here's the tweet, man. Um, so this is the one he 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 tweeted out after he did the song with Taylor Swift. And this is the one he tweeted out after he did the song with Beyonce. And it's like, y'all, yeah, y'all mad. So he, 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 it, watch. He only did that because she white. They white. White people stick together and all this bullshit. And it's going to be all this nasty shit. Because remember about two months ago, one college radio station somewhere, I forgot where it was, refused to play Beyonce's song because it wasn't in their program. You know how like you might have a hip hop channel that only plays like uh, uh, Jungle Brothers and De La Soul and Outkast and Tribe Called Quest and you like, I want y'all to play Boosie. And they like, nah, man, we don't play that type of music. You know what I'm saying? You might want to go to another channel. Yeah. So, you know, say every 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 genre has that. You dig what I'm saying? The program manager has a certain vibe that they going for on their radio station. So this it was my type of radio stations. <laughs> yeah, didn't play, didn't want to play Beyonce's trash ass country song. Those songs are dreadful too. Um, and black people projected that onto the entire country world. And said they're all racist. All country music people are racist. And then they started saying we invented country music. And and country music's black people started country music. Yeah, I heard and, that. 
heard that a long time ago. I, I, don't, I never knew if that was true, but black people said we made like all the major genres of music. See, uh, yeah, but I don't even want to get into it. But look, black people, yes, they were instrumental in the in in, in all forms of music. But it's to say we started it. It's like that's just like a. Uh, it's just a sum summing it up. It's like round. It's like rounding up. 2.5 to 10. You know, you round 2.5 up to three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you know what? You, you know what I hit them with when 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 they when they talked at NASA. We created this. Uh, did you create AI? <laughs> where, 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 were you the genius that created AI? <laughs> they gonna say that. Yeah, of course. You know, black people gonna say they created AI. But if uh, we didn't invent yeah. math, they wouldn't be able. But to it, <laughs> But they find, you know, usually what they do is they find instrumental black people that did something like, for instance, like, it's like soul food. Soul food isn't, wasn't created by black people. Like no, soul no. food came from Europe. You know, fried chicken, chicken and waffles, all this stuff. All this the stuff came from Europe. The seeds in it came from black. The seeds in it, yeah. Like they, the then they, then they throw, 